Hi guys. Hey, listen. Um, I was thinking and decided to have a talk about it in that most people, I think, think that nothing has changed over the last two years. And if that's what you want to see, that is what you will see. You will also continue to create what was going on two years ago. But I thought I'd bring some things to anybody's attention who wants to see the changes. And I've got two major ones. First of all, there's cryptocurrencies, which I brought up before. And y'all want uh, a way to get money, and you feel like the money system is being controlled and you can't get ahead, and that's true. That's true. It's very controlled. So other options have been brought out, and I have seen nothing but people in panic, and it won't work, and... And, 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 and. And if you don't want it to work, it won't work. Uh, but the option's there. And there are, oh, I don't know, what is it, hundreds or thousands of options of which kind of cryptocurrency you want to deal with. Now, it's still a little bit complicated. I had heard that there were a couple guys that were trying to do an app for the phone that would make it super easy. Uh, but it has to do with all the banking system, the way the money is set up. Banking systems have all kinds of things that they've created to protect that system. Well, the cryptocurrencies, in order to protect your same thing, different form of money, they have to come up with the same kind of thing. So it's kind of complicated. But uh, last time I heard, those guys were working on an easy way of, of doing the cryptocurrencies. So you might check on that. Um, if you're not willing to gamble with a new way, you'll be stuck in the old way. So I ask you, please, don't complain about the old way if you're not willing to gamble on a new way. Either come up with a new way yourself or go with somebody else's new creation. But don't stay in the old way and complain about it if you're not willing to step outside of it because it's really annoying for me. And so, uh, yeah, there's that. Now, there's also, I think I mentioned this in another video, but I'm going to mention it again. And I will put a link to this documentary down in the description of this video. So we'll see how many of you want to follow it and how you respond to it. And to be fair, when I first watched the documentary, I didn't know if it was a mockumentary or a documentary. Because the stuff was so unbelievable. But I put my PA on it, Stephanie, and she has followed up to verify all of it is indeed true. So let's talk about it a little bit. It's, it's really a documentary, uh, long story short, on how you can do gene splicing yourself. And you can do it on animals, plants, humans, whatever. In your own kitchen, garage, whatever. Now, <clears throat> if that scares you, uh, you're not ready for 5D because this is like next step to 5D because that's exactly what you do in 5D. You create everything yourself. And if you can't do it and be comfortable with it from a perspective of what this documentary talks about, and it basically will walk you through doing any kind of changes that you want, literally any kind of human changes that you want or animal changes. I know there's one guy that's a dog lover. And he's in the process of creating a glowing dog just because it can't be disproven. You can't, there is no naturally occurring glowing dog. So it's kind of his way of proving that this works. Um, and then he's going to go back and correct all the dog issues, all the hip dysplasia, all the problems that humans have created by basically gene splicing by breeding dogs a certain way he's going to undo he's going to fix it all because he's huge into dogs okay then you can also change eye color you can fix all diseases you can regrow organs there's nothing that can't be done now i had a friend of mine that said that people were in small research facilities were doing this oh 20 25 years ago and we're being very successful at it. None of the big pharmacies were doing or any of the big research labs were doing it because, well, for one thing, um, they didn't want to risk it. Any big organization doesn't risk rocking the boat because they're doing well where they are. Why would they? Uh, they get a lot of money. They can sit on their laurels. They don't have to do much. It's not 
big research companies that ever find big changes, it's little people in their garages. And that's the way it's always been. It's the ones that were willing to take the risk and do the work and aren't afraid. So I get there's a great big hoopla about this. Now these guys want, because they know that the powers that be will never change things, because let's say um, a whole bunch of people or the majority of the people have this kit that you can fix anything about you that you want, change anything about you want, fix your children, any problems they might have. Well, then why do you need doctors, lawyers? Why do you need to go to school? Why You can increase your intelligence. You can fix any disease. You can, uh, the money that you would save. See how many different groups crash and burn? The insurance companies will be gone. Medical facilities, except for trauma, will be gone. Um, and the people can take control of that themselves. You can fix yourself yourself, and you decide. And the cool thing is, if you change something and you don't like it, you can change it back. You just replace it with something else. It's super, super easy. You guys need to watch the documentary. Now, I want you to watch how you respond to this documentary. Because if you get scared of what you hear, if you think that this is dangerous, I think somebody in the documentary, there's some girl or woman or whatever, and she said, well, then everybody will be blonde hair and blue-eyed like everybody wants to be blonde haired and blue-eyed. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I have no desire whatsoever to be blonde haired blue-eyed. And I'm of German descent, and I don't. I like my red hair. I like my green eyes. I would just make them brighter. Um, so I think that's very self-centered to think that all people want to be the same. They don't. But the point in this is, ultimately, if you've got a kit and you can fix everything you think is wrong, in my case, I'm going to fix my eyes, and I'm going to fix my organs that were damaged in the uh, 30 days in a coma. Uh, there's those things I'm going to kind of fix the whole aging thing, because you can fix the aging thing. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff on me I'm going to fix, and we're going to do it right away. I think that the... Uh, cheapest kit is less than two hundred dollars and i think even the expensive one is less than three hundred even i can afford that especially to replace everything else so i wanted to explain to you guys when i talk about 5d and i tell you that to you it would seem like magic it's just because you don't understand how it works if you were to put somebody 200 years ago and you put them in the middle of new york city they would think all of new york city was magic and it's not it's not. You know how it all works in New York City. It's just they didn't. They wouldn't. 5D is the same way. And this is kind of a step to 5D. It's a way of you taking control of your life and you deciding what you want and you making those changes yourself and getting very, very comfortable with that. You can also do it with plants and animals as well as the human body. And that's... The one way that you do that is you've got internet access. So a lot of coding, it's kind of like coding the body or coding live things. Only you can learn to do it yourself. And if you want it bad enough, it's not that difficult to learn. These guys have made it very, very simple. Because they figure if it gets out in the hands of the masses, then the hands of the few can't control it and keep it from you anymore. So if you want control of your life, let's see how you respond. Do you get afraid? Are you going to leave it to them, or are you going to risk it and take control yourself? Me? I'm taking control myself. This is the way to 5D. This is step. This is just one more step. Okay? So, there are all kinds of things that are different over the last two years. Whether or not you can see them or not will be the question. If you're so entrenched in your own individual drama, you won't see what's going on on the planet. It's so very, very different because it's very different than it was when I started these videos. Very different. Intensely different. But if you're busy listening to the news and going to work every day and taking care of the kids and you can't get outside of that, then you won't see it. And that's fine. You have a right to do whatever you want to do. But I assure you, things are very, very different and moving fast if you want on those timelines. If you want to stay in your drama, you'll stay in your drama and that is all you will see. It's up to you. It's always been up to you from the get-go. All right. Well, that's it for this one. Love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.